Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On Days of Our Lives, Blake Barris is returning. However, Nick most certainly isn't. No, he's securely tucked up in hell, or wherever he is these days, plotting against the enemy. Rather, he has returned as Everett a man who does not appear to be connected to Nick. Furthermore, sources state that although the show debuted him in a major teaser on this year's Day of Days, he will actually be calling on Stephanie on Monday. How come? You see, Everett is Stephanie's ex-boyfriend from Seattle, the one with whom she had a disastrous relationship that made her wary of both males in general and Alex in particular when she moved to Salem. As he appears, we find out that although things were going well between the two, Everett ghosted Steph, and she hadn't heard from him in years, according to the most recent Soap Opera Digest. Right now. Stephanie wants answers following the initial shock of seeing Everett in Salem. Of all places, Abigail Klein told Digest. She is fairly picky about responses. After thinking everything was going well, Stephanie lost contact with him. And Everett responds to her telling her he still loves her and that he didn't really ghost her. However, what he tells her is so bizarre, possibly even for Salem, that Klein said, Stephanie is kind of skeptical. It seems overly idealistic. However, there is a part of her that genuinely wants to accept what actually happened because she did love this guy. What then transpired? We are aware that he was previously married to Jada, unless he is secretly photographing engagement pictures with her. But it would seem that their union occurred before Stephanie. We're very certain that Steph wouldn't be very understanding if he traveled to Salem to tell her that he ghosted her in order to pursue a relationship with and marry another woman. Furthermore, Barris stated that he would scare my wife out while she was driving because I was so shocked reading scripts, referring to how incredible Everett's plot is. Even though Everett is a new character, you can very much assume that his strange absence will have something to do with other Salamites because he is already connected to two people on the show days of our lives. Furthermore, Chad logically won't trust the guy, even though Stephanie might want to. Does Everett pose the same threat as Nick did? Or does he just represent a danger to an already failing relationship? For the years that he was absent from Stephanie's life, where was he? And what happened that startled Barris and Klein so much? The Days of Our Lives winter preview has fans excited with plenty of proposals, father revelations, and fireworks. Others, including myself, have been left scratching their heads or scarring their memory banks in regards to John's incredibly convoluted past. It is to be expected that the strong writing announcing P.A.D.U.R. ends as something approaching us along with an image of John at the Brady pub recalling how lost I was when Steve found me, has nothing to do with their excellent game of chess during the years when he was bedridden and covered in bandages. However, I won't mind if John and Steve decide to perform the Queen's Gambit in their own unique way. It's actually a reference to John's first appearance on the show. I didn't follow that entire plot because I started watching Days of Our Lives in 1991. I learned about it later and quickly forgot the specifics. Don't worry, I went back down the rabbit hole of what's up with the pawn. So you don't have to. And this is what we novices in Salem need to know. In late 1985, the amiable family patriarch, now known as John Black, made his television debut as an enigmatic guy, wearing bandages and having cosmetic reconstructive surgery, as is the case. He was in high demand among a group of villains playing a devious game involving the purse, the power, and the pawn, including Stefano de Mira's alley Ilya Petrov, sleazy ISA boss George Nickerson, and Victor Kyriakis. Couldn't they just play poker like everyone else? Seemingly not. Rude criminal for hire Victor brought the unknown man to Salem after Steve picked him up. Steve then used the pawn as leverage because Victor would not pay up. Steve was aware of the true identity of pawn prior to surgery, but days of our lives would withhold that information over time. Steve, who was in need of money, 
was not pleased when Pawn, his paydirt, absconded from his care on New Year's Eve. In the role, Drake Hodgeston debuted in January 1986. The bandages were taken off, but that attractive face and the mysterious man's memories stayed there. Ultimately, it would be revealed that he was purposely brainwashed to be an assassin and used as Stefano's pawn. But many didn't realize that until they believed he might be the evil Dimmer himself. In April 1986, as John and Marlena were attempting to piece together his true identity and his former appearance, Marlena noticed the phoenix tattoo on his shoulder and was taken aback to see Stefano's iconic picture. It wasn't successful. John and Marlena would prove that year that he was not the supervillain who had shot her husband Roman Brady on a cliff and sent him plummeting to his apparent death two years earlier. Oh my! No, their conclusion was stranger still. Marlena came to the conclusion that John was a very much alive Roman after discovering a plastic surgeon's file with before and after pictures. Did he also have plastic surgery on the whole body? These are not the questions we ask in Salem. Marlena and Ronan re-established a contented marriage, deeply in love, and raising three children, Carrie, Eric, and Sami. That is, until 1987, when Marlena's turn came to be assumed dead. Days of our lives explored in greater detail what precisely Stefano had done to Roman over his pawn years in the aftermath of that tragic event. Of course, we know that the intricate chess match of John's identity did not finish there, as the genuine Roman, and this time they meant it, returned in 1991 with a very much alive Marlena. After all these decades, might this next chapter represent the end of the game? In a teaser for the week of October 30, November 3, Blake Barris makes a comeback to the soap opera in a completely new capacity. See the trailer and read the story below. Despite his relationship with Stephanie, allowing him to move on, Chad appears to be struggling to deal with Abigail's passing. As they get older, Chad tells his mother that he doesn't think Stephanie should get married. As all of this is going on, Blake Barris' character, Stephanie's ex, Everett, arrives in town, declares his desire for her return, and pulls her into a kiss. Who exactly is this enigmatic Everett? A very pregnant Eric following their run-in. Marlena asks her son if he would have made up with Nicole if the baby had been his. He acknowledges that he instantly would have. Naturally, he is unaware that Nicole is carrying his child because of Sloane. Given that Nicole is hesitant to let go of a man who has captured her heart completely, it appears that Nicole would have made amends with Eric as well. But this week, she's getting married to EJ. Nicole finds it difficult to respond when Chad, who is in charge of the wedding, asks her if she considers EJ to be her husband. Is Nicole going to say yes? From Monday, October 30, to Friday, November 3, the most recent spoilers for Days of Our Lives are available. Halloween in Salem brings with it a startling discovery, a cunning scheme, and a bombshell concerning Lee's background. Not to mention, Eric's snap decision leaves Sloane and Marlena speechless. Spoilers for Monday, October 30, from Days of Our Lives. Nicole is used to E.J. being grumpy, but what will happen if she discovers him exploding with rage? Who is it that keeps pounding on Stephanie's door? Someone she never ever imagined seeing someone from her history. Marlena is unavoidably worried about a patient who is not stable. Although Gabby and Stefan should be happy, it's not enough. Now that they've experienced triumph, they want more. Spoilers for Tuesday, October 31, from Days of Our Lives. If you know anything else about Salem, you are aware that Halloween brings a whole new level of weirdness to this area. How peculiar. Okay. How about creating some magic with Stephanie and Kayla? Polina and Abby's movie night. Meantime, most definitely does not go as expected. When Holly gets up to some trouble, she's going to show that the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. After Eric, Sloane, and Nickel uncover something that can only be described as shocking, things will become extremely complicated. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.